A displacement is a way of making hills, mountains and bumpy surfaces in your level. Start off by making a normal block, then click on the Toggle Texture Application tool. Only select the surfaces you want to become bumpy. Hold down Ctrl to select more than one at once. As you can see, I have a new keyboard because for some reason my old one broke. Once they're selected, click on the Displacement tab, Create and OK. You can modify the detail of this displacement by clicking up and down in the Power Selection box. Click Paint Geometry to edit this displacement's height. Raise Lower modifies how high it is. Raise 2 raises it to a certain height, depending on the distance selected. Smooth is used to smooth out displacements where it may be a bit sharp and jagged. This is an extreme example and it doesn't work too well, but it should work in practice. Modifying the radius will affect how much of the displacement is modified when you use the tools in the Paint Geometry menu. The distance is how many units the displacement will move at a time when modified. Larger values take less time to reach a certain height. If you want the displacement to go side to side instead of up and down, change the axis to a different setting. This is what it looks like in the game. To make your texture blend between two different texture types, search for Blend in the Texture Browser. Choose one you want, I'm choosing a blend between grass and dirt. Apply it to your displacement, and then you can click Invert Alpha to invert the texture that's used, and Paint Alpha, along with left and right mouse buttons, to apply the texture you want. Doing this properly will make the texture look far more natural and realistic. You'll find that the displacement is limited to a power of 4. If you want more detailed displacements, you need to place more displacements next to each other. As long as they are lined up and of the same power, they will fit together when you click the Sew button. You can make the displacement as large and detailed as you like doing this method of copying and pasting. Be sure that they line up or the sew button will not work, as you can see here. Finally, never press Ctrl T when a displacement is selected, as it will prevent your map from compiling properly. Also, a displacement cannot seal your map, so you place another block underneath it to seal the map in, because light can go straight through the displacement. I hope this tutorial helps you to make mountains and hills in your levels. Have fun.